First of all, everyone in LCS basically had like a roster swap, except for Cloud9. Everything's gonna be different. The split is going to be very, very exciting. This split's gonna be awesome. I, I man, I just can't wait to play. So we'll start with CLG. CLG is a new top laner imported from Korea. Curse has like special, like what? C9 stuck with their roster for like three splits in a row and they're hugely successful. Cloud9, the North American champions. More than ever, like Cloud9 like may not be the first place team. CLG's looking very strong. They also don't know like LMQ, how good are they, how bad are they? Yeah, I think the team that has benefited the most from these roster changes is C9. A lot of things could be better or worse, but I, what I can say for sure is this can be a, a much more competitive split and I'm looking forward to it. Every team is just looking so good. It's a scary split to be playing in. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the opening day of the 2014 North American League Championship Series Summer Split. We're coming to you live from our LCS home right here in Los Angeles, California. Hello, everyone. I'm Rigging for Bism the Third, and with me is Joshua Chad Leesman. And it is good to be back with you, Riv, here because the crowd is ready, and honestly, the teams are all different. So we got a whole bunch to learn. I'm super excited. I even heard of Uvazela earlier in the crowd, so it's going to be a good day. Today, eight teams continue their quest to hoist the Summoner's Cup. Yeah, they will battle it out over the next 11 weeks with the top six teams earning a berth in the NALCS playoffs. Then they'll fight for a spot at Worlds and the honor of proving themselves the best on the international stage. That's right. Every single game matters, and we're kicking it off with a super weak lineup of 16 matches. But first, the North American League has seen more than a few shakeups in the offseason. In addition to two new teams of LMQ and Complexity, there were a flurry of player trades, starting with the Spring, spring Split's second place, Team Solo Mid. Yeah, the odd one stepped down from the starting jungler position, saying that the team would do better with another player, maybe one that's better mechanically. So he'll be taking over as the team's coach, and replacing him is going to be amazing from the team Copenhagen Wolves over in Europe. Another TSM change, though, is in the bottom lane. They're bringing in Glebe from the challenger team Cloud9 Tempest. He's going to take over for X-Special, who actually parted the ways for Team Curse. Everybody was going everywhere. That's right. And Counterlogic Gaming went all the way to Korea to recruit a top laner after Nian announced he would be leaving the team to work on his game. Yep. Manning the top lane will be Seraph, who was playing previously with the Najin organization. So that's, that's right. something everyone wants to see. All the unknown commodities. And Coast may have been eliminated in the summer promotion tournament, but Zion, Spartan, and Shifter have found new life in the LCS. Yeah. Both those players moved over to Dignitas. Zion Spartan's going to be taking residence in the top lane, replacing Cruiser the Bruiser, mm -hmm. while Shifter will take over in the mid lane where there was a vacancy. It's going to be good for them, guys. And finally, we heard grumblings of EG shakeups the entire break, and now they finally arrived. Almost. Yeah, so Alltech will be taking place of Yellow Peak to AD Carry, but today Yellow Peak's going to be having his last game in the LCS against LMQ. It's going to be his last ride with his longtime bot lane partner, Crepo. That's right. And of course, the summer split is well underway in Europe, where they just completed their own Super Week, and there were some huge moments that you guys were talking about on Twitter. Let's take a look at our hashtag LCS Big Plays. From Millennium vs. Gambit, at Amuni Lull tweets, the Kerp Mechanics. Oh my god. Here's your number three. Now this is something that I like to see from teams. When you first pick a champion and you do well, Kerb's gonna jump on Nikia. Oh, he's gonna get a poke across the side, the chain lands. Oh, wow. Nick tries to turn wow. it around, but does not land the stun. Yeah, Kerp was just totally destroying that entire game and the entire week. Millennium yep. and Kerp in particular, big surprise stories in Europe. Another big play though, uh, Rocket versus Fnatic. Dr. Hindsight writes, glad to have overpower on my fantasy roster after that epic intervention. Here's your number two. And they are completely out of position yeah, now. They didn't seem to have any idea what else to do about that one. And we're going to see them coming in. Zazas gets hit with the binding. He is real tanky, but not tanky enough to get away already. Last second intervention comes through. Okay. And he's going to try and dodge it. He does dodge it. Reckless is now all alone. Wow. And Reckless going far too deep. It was only two fantasy points for the kill, but it was still a really nice play. <laughs> Very nice indeed. We're going to have a lot of our own today, but the first. And finally, from Alliance versus Gambit, Efficant D says, Wicked's man mode engages, made Tabs' job easy, and won the team fights. GG Alliance, here's your number one. 
Wicked needs to knock them away. Use the Dragon's Rage. Your team is there. They've lost the tower. Now he's going to go for the fight. Collects up four members. It's a good ultimate coming out of there. Wild Growth bounces them in there. Frogger gets quickly shut down, but Gambit are falling like flies as Tabs comes in, ratatatatting his way through and picking up a triple kill. Complete shock and awe. Best way to do it. Yeah, Tabs had a rather strong week there. So you're <laughs> done. Time for NA. So remember to share your favorite moments from today's games by tweeting us at LOL Esports and be sure to use the hashtag LCSBigPlays. And now you've seen a taste of the action, let's check out how the table stands in the European League. Absolutely, and first it's a three-way tie with Alliance, Millennium, and SK Gaming sporting three and one records. And then tied for fourth are Fnatic and Super Hot Crew. Then in last, it's yet another tie with Gambit Gaming, the Copenhagen Wolves, and Rock Hat with one win and three losses. As we mentioned, we've got a super week of games coming your way, so make sure the laptop is plugged in because you won't want to miss any action. Yeah, it starts with a rivalry rematch between the Spring Champs, Cloud9, and second place Team Solo Mid. The fans always want to see that one. Then Curse face off against Counterlogic Gaming, and after that, it's the new kids on the block, LMQ versus Evil Geniuses. And we'll see if Complexity has the right stuff when they take on Dignitas. We'll conclude the day with Counterlogic Gaming versus LMQ, and by God, the yeah. fans are ready. Just a little bit. They've been waiting <laughs> for a while. We've been all over the world there. We went to Paris. They haven't had a chance to cheer for TSM for quite some time. That's right. And you can find the complete schedule as well as, well as vote on the teams you think will start the split with wins by heading over to lolesports.com. Click on Schedule, select Week Uno, and lock in your votes. Yeah, you can also learn how to join us here in the studio to watch these teams play in person. Saturday's sold out, but there are still seats available for Sunday. Just click Tickets for all the details. And if you haven't set up your LCS Fantasy team yet, you can do it now. That's right. Set up your league, then you can play owner and create your dream team of pro players from Europe and North America. Rack up points based on the actual LCS games and sweet or sweat each kill, yes, as you compete against your friends each week. Head to fantasy.lolesports for all the details. Yeah, and the casters ourselves had one of those yeah. fantasy leagues. Although, you know, we'll do a little bit of Twitter talking about those yeah. things because they're going to be close. I play Absolutely. Kobe this week. Ooh, yeah. very nice. We'll have to see. I played Officio. It'll be fun. Now let's throw it over to the guys at the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Riff. What's up, guys? I'm David Freak Turley alongside Sam, Kobe, Hartman, Kensler. It'll be a fun day. I am looking forward to seeing all these new players actually on the North American LCS stage. How yeah. can they perform? Yeah, almost every single team is going to be changed up in some way. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. So we had a whole bunch of big shovels in the North American LCS this split. We want to break down some of the new faces as well as returning players that we'll be keeping an eye on this week. Up first, West Rice, Complexity's top laner. He was critical of his own performance in the Summer Promotion Tournament, and he's shown that he can make some great plays but is unpredictable. We'll see how he settles into playing on the big stage. Then we'll be watching to see if Xiao Wei Zhao can carry his dominating performance in the challenger scene into the LCS as he faces off against North America's best mid laners. He's done more to revolutionize farming than Norman Borlaug. What? Who? Uh, Norman Borlaug, he developed a high yield disease resistant strain of wheat back in the 40s. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, speaking of Threshes, we're going to look at Curse's Expecial, their new support. He had the highest KDA in the spring split among supports. But we'll have to see uh, if and how quickly he can develop synergy with Cop in the bottom lane. And next, we'll be keeping an eye on Shifter, who will be manning the mid lane for Dignitas. He was the brightest star on coast. Now let's see how he can do with a shot calling jungler. Now finally, we're going to talk about Seraph, CLG's top laner. Since they brought him over from Najin White Shield to try out for the team, there's been a lot of hype around him still. He's only got one professional game on his resume. We're anxious to see how he actually does in competitive play regularly now. Uh, but of course, there's just too many chains to talk about, 17 in total. So, two of us can't do it all. We want you guys at home to help us with this one. We're asking you guys on Twitter, which player move do you think will have the biggest impact for his team and why? Send your answers to at LOESports and use that hashtag LCS. We might just highlight your insightful response later in the broadcast. All right, guys, going to take a quick break. But when we come back, the games are going to get underway. Cloud9 versus the revamped Team Solo Mid. We'll be right back after this.